Hi everyone, I'm Lin Zhi from uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong, and today I introduce our work. Um, this is the outline of my presentation. And the first, I want to I, I want to introduce the task of successful new entry prediction. And this task aims to foresee whether a newcomer's message will be responded by other participants in in, in a multi-party conversation. Um, as we all know, in our everyday life, one should engage in a wide variety of conversations, ranging from online meetings to personal chat chats. However, not everyone is good at uh, socializing, and online newcomers even face more difficulties because of the diffuse, decentralized, and anonymous text based interaction. And some previous um, researches show that uh, early socialization experience have a long term impact for new, uh, new users. Um, in light of uh, these motivations, there is a pressing need to develop a conversation management toolkit to predict uh, uh, conversations uh, future trajectory and advance the interpersonal uh, communication quality. And to solve the successful new entry prediction task, uh, we propose a framework consisting of two parts, uh, topic and discourse uh, modeling and the successful new entry prediction. Uh, we hypothesize that uh, both chatting uh, topics and discourse behavior uh, will affect other participants' attitude to the newcomer. Um, to elaborate the motivation of this hypothesis, uh, the left figure shows an example of a Reddit conversation where both U4 and U5 are newcomers. And we can see that U5 posted a question about a new point, uh, NSFL and hence draw future participants' attention and feedback. While U4 made a, a statement about echoing deep right uh, butter, which I concerned before, and U4 didn't receive any responses. And, and, and then I talked about uh, some related words by three categories. The first category of the related words is the newcomer socialization. Newcomer socialization, um, it analyzes the process that uh, newcomers uh, make the transition from being organizational outsiders to being insiders. It's an essential research for supporting uh, so, uh, socializing and integrating members to virtual environments. However, uh, most of the previous uh, researches are based on sociological surveys in a small group, but our work is based on large scale data sets. And the second line of related work is response prediction. Uh, research on response prediction aims to predict whether a given online content will receive design responses uh, by analyzing the propagation patterns of social media content. However, now of them consider newcomers in a multi-party conversation and how to help them better engage in, which is extensively investigated in our work. And then the third category is conversation modeling. Um, works in this line develop models to encode conversation context from rich information, such as user interaction, uh, temporal order of sense, uh, latent topics, and discourse. In our model, the way we learn topic and discourse representations is built upon the, uh, the previous uh, latent variable models for unsupervised conversation. Uh, compared with the original design, we also consider user chatting history to leverage newcomers' personal interests and investigate how uh, topics and discourse patterns affect newcomers' involvement uh, in multi party conversations. And then I start to introduce our framework. And then this figure shows our framework uh, for successful new entry prediction. As we can see, our framework mainly consists of two uh, modules. A topic and discourse modeling module and the successful new entry prediction module. Um, and then I introduce our framework by the following four parts uh, input and output, a topic and discourse modeling module, uh, successful new entry prediction module, and the learning objective of our model. And the input of our model can be divided into two parts. The observed conversation C and the history conversation that uh, CH. For output, we use a Bernoulli distribution P to indicate the estimated likelihood of whether the newcomer U uh, gets responses from other uh, participants. 
Um, then I introduced the first module of our framework, uh, which is topic and discourse modeling. Uh, we learn distributional word clusters uh, that reflect the latent topic D in conversation C and discourse behavior D for each term in C. We assume there are K topics and uh, each is represented by a word distribution phi KT. Um, we also assume there are K discourse behaviors represented with word distribution phi DD. And then I introduce more details to show you how to learn the topics and discourse distribution. Uh, we employ uh, the extended framework of, of variational encoders uh, to, to resemble the data generative process by two steps. The, the first step is the encode step. It learns the parameter mu, uh, sigma, and pi from the input. And the input is in the form of a uh, bag of words. Then in decode step, the weight, uh, it, le it, it learns to uh, reconstruct the words in, in target method TI. Um, and in particular, um, the, the weight matrix of F by T after the soft mass normalization is considered as the topic word distribution phi T. And the weight matrix of phi F by D after the soft mass normalization is considered as the discourse distribution. Uh, so for the com uh, uh, observed conversation C, we, mo uh, we can model and denote the topic variable as EC and the discourse uh, behavior of its term as D. EC and D will be used uh, in their uh, personal uh, turn encoder and the uh, uh, conversation encoder. And for the chatting history uh, uh, conversation set, we learn the topic variable for all the conversations. And then they are average as use representation denoted as uh, EU. Uh, this can be regarded as uh, uh, a, a kind of user embedding, which reflects their uh, preferences learned from the user history. Mm. So after learning the uh, So after learning the TDM module, we now introduce the uh, successful new entry prediction module, the SNP module. It consists of uh, three parts, uh, personalized turn encoder, discourse over a uh, conversation encoder, and prediction layer. As we can see in the personalized turn encoder, the by GRU is initialized uh, by the topic representation EU or EC, and the representation of TI uh, is a concatenation of last uh, hidden states of both direction of, of by GRU. Then for this course of work conversation uh, encoder, we first concatenate uh, the turn level representations with the discourse of variable D, then the TDM. Then the input uh, for the second by GRU layer. Uh, then we can get uh, and then we can get a representation of each turn after uh, after GRU is HDG. Then we design uh, attention mechanism to identify discourse behavior in context that contribute more uh, to signal successful engagement. Our intuit, uh, intuition is that different discourse behaviors uh, represent different uh, functions and therefore should be distinguished in the ways to make uh, to make predictions. For example, uh, a turn a turn rising uh, a rising uh, a question might be more important than a simple agreement response. Therefore, we assign different attention ways to the terms based on their discourse. Uh, so AIG is equal to FD, argmas D, uh, DJ, where argmas well, arg DJ makes the learned discourse behavior to turn J. And F I F FD function maps the discourse behavior to different uh, or weight values. Finally, to produce a uh, to produce the whole conversation representation, we concatenate the hidden states of a uh, C's uh, turn, uh, HDC, and the weighted sum of all conversation terms. So finally, we can get the conversation representation HC. Um, and HC is followed uh, by a linear projection layer uh, activate, activated by a sigmoid uh, active, activation function to predict how likely the newcomer can successfully achieve their uh, conversation. And uh, this is the 
a prediction layer. Uh, and, and now we introduce the uh, learning objective of our whole framework. As you can see in the first formula here, our model is the joint uh, learning of TDM and, and SMP module. So the loss is the sum of TDM module and SMP module. Then the loss of TDM is equal to LZ plus LD plus LT minus lambda MMI. Well, LD and LZ are objectives about uh, learning topics and discourse. And LT is the loss for a target message re reconstruction. And LMI ensures that topics and discourse learn differently. The objective uh, function of successful new entry prediction is much simpler than TDM. It is designed uh, to be a binary cross entropy loss to take the potential data imbalance into account. We also adopt a trade-off uh, with mu to get more with to get more with uh, to the minority class. After introducing uh, the model, let me show you some uh, details of the used data set. We construct two new conversation data sets from Twitter and Reddit. The statistics, the statistics of the two data sets are shown in this table. As can be seen, Twitter users tend to be uh, a respond to newcomers, while new entries in Reddit are more likely to be filled, probably because Twitter users are more open to public discussion compared with Reddit. Uh, we can also see that about 60% newcomers has a uh, uh, user chatting history, which means that 60% newcomers in the test set are involved in, uh, in the conversations uh, uh, that are in training set. Uh, uh, we further study the newcomers' distribution for the uh, number of history, com history conversations uh, in this figure. Uh, most of, uh, as we can see, most of the newcomers are in engaged in less than five uh, conversations before. Uh, the sparsity uh, in user history might uh, uh, pose challenges to learn their interests. Um, uh, then I'll show you the main uh, experimental results in this table. As you can see, our model significantly outperforms our uh, comparing results on both uh, two data sets. And we, uh, and we can also find that uh, our models perform better on Twitter uh, than Reddit, uh, which, that, uh, which suggests uh, models sens a sensitivity to label uh, in balance. Well, on Reddit, we observe uh, more sparse uh, uh, positive samples to learn successful new entry compared with the negative. Uh, we then examine the co uh, contributions of some components of our framework with an ablation study presented in this paper. Uh, we compare our full model with its uh, variance without using topic uh, uh, initialized uh, uh, topics for turn in codationalization without concatenating discourse as term representation and without uh, discourse of real attention. The re uh, and this result, uh, this result indicates that the topic factor uh, might uh, contribute more than discourse. Uh, and the joint uh, effects help get the best results. Um, compared, compared with uh, latent topics, discourse behavior seems uh, harder to be understood. So to interpret what is learned for discourse, uh, this table shows five examples, uh, five example discourses from Reddit with top five uh, terms by likelihood. Uh, names in the first column are our interpretation of the discourse behaviors according to the learned clusters. Uh, discourse uh, was indicating the behavior I, I highlighted in blue. Uh, you, uh, you can find find more experimental results uh, on, on our paper. Uh, and the last, I give a, a, a conclusion. This uh, this paper formulates the task of successful new entry uh, prediction. Uh, contributes two large scale data sets. Uh, propose a novel model to predict successful new entry prediction of our latent topics and discourse. And this paper also. Uh, explores the roles of topic and discourse played in newcomers' engagement, multi-party uh, conversation. Um, so that's all. Uh, uh, any questions?
Thank you, Linji, very much for your presentation. Um, right on time. So looking around the, the audience here, is anyone with a question? Perhaps I can kick it off with a couple of questions that I have. So that's very interesting work um, indeed to, um, let's say to, to, to understand uh, how, whether and how someone would engage in a conversation in a new community. It's a very interesting problem. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, you are somehow assuming uh, that uh, the, the, the person uh, in a way is a, is, a, is a newcomer in the community. Um, uh, and maybe that means uh, probably that's not also necessarily an expert in the content uh, that the community discusses. But uh, what if uh, someone that already has expertise in the topic uh, joins the community? How will that, uh, let's say, what does it mean with respect for the community or for your system to account for that? So someone with a prior expertise uh, that joins, uh, but is not a fresh, right? It doesn't need to lean, learn the topic, already knows the topic. Yeah. Uh, so you mean, uh, 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 he's a newcomer, but he is uh, an expert in this area. Um, yeah. I think if uh, he's an expert, um, uh, we propose uh, several su suggestions in our uh, paper to newcomers. So if the uh, newcomers can contribute new and interesting uh, information to the community, uh, then uh, maybe uh, they're easy to uh, uh, chip in the uh, conversation uh, successfully. So, so if uh, he's an ex expert, so I maybe maybe he can contribute more new and interesting things. So uh, maybe he will be more likely to be a successful new newcomer. But I will think. will it, in this particular case, this this will not uh, um, be picked up or, or interpreted or used by your system, right? I mean, because that's that information is not uh, available. The, the approach treats every newcomer as if they were also novel in the in the in the community in the community topic. Um, I think our paper talks more about the uh, the discourse that the user use. Or so, if the uh, new user can uh, speak a more related topic and use a special uh, discourse to express uh, their. Many, then they can get uh, more attention from other users. 